So you're thinking about making a move to Phoenix, Arizona. In this video, I'm going to show and describe the different valleys of the Phoenix metro area. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Phoenix, Arizona, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Shelly Myers, and I'm a realtor with HomeSmart. I get calls and emails from people just like you every day that are looking at to make that move to Phoenix, and I absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. All of the information is in the description below so I can help you make that smooth move to Phoenix. So let's get to it. Phoenix is a pretty expansive area. It covers over 500 square miles of Sonoran Desert and consists of 24 different municipalities. Each of these municipalities boasts its own unique features, sites, and culture, which really provides the visitor with a special look or experience in the nation's fifth most populous city. The greater Phoenix region is among the biggest metropolitan areas in the United States that is inhabited by approximately 5 million people. And every day, there's more that show up at our door. I think we have an estimate of about 7,000 people move to the Phoenix Valley every day. Cities in the East Valley showcase remarkable natural attractions like Mesa's Superstition Mountains and Scottsdale's McDowell Sonoran Preserve. In addition to the hiking and the outdoor activities, you, we also have a pretty vibrant nightlife that can be experienced in Tempe's downtown district on Mill Avenue and then, of course, the historic Old Town Scottsdale. In the West Valley of Greater Phoenix, that's where we have some of our popular stadiums for, say, the Cactus League Spring Training, the Arizona Cardinals Stadium, the Westgate Entertainment District, Lake Pleasant, and many other attractions for you to check out. I put up the map so that you can get an idea of the expansiveness that we have. I didn't go, I didn't go north and I didn't go to south Phoenix, like Maricopa, Casa Grande, Florence. I didn't go down there. And I didn't go all the way to the north, like Cave Creek, Carefree, Anthem, which are some other communities that really are part of the Phoenix Valley, but I didn't include them in the map. But you can see that we have lots to do in Phoenix. There's lots of things to experience and each part of the valley is just a little different. So a lot of times when you're talking to a realtor or you're talking to someone who lives in Phoenix and they say, you say, hey, I'm really thinking about moving to Phoenix. I want to, I want to get there. They're going to say, okay, are you looking in the East Valley? Or are you looking in the West Valley? I should have done it this way. East Valley or West Valley? Which area are you looking at? Because there's different price points, there's different experiences, there's different communities in each of those. And depending on what you're looking for will depend on where maybe your, your focus of your search will be. I hope this has been helpful, getting a chance to look at the different areas of the Phoenix Valley and understanding why we always talk about East Valley, West Valley, North or South when we're talking about different, the different parts of the Phoenix Valley. Like I said earlier, if you like what you see on this channel, uh, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that you can be notified when I upload a new video to share with you. So thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.